Hello, viewers. Today, we're doing back sweetening and bottle conditioning. We're experimenting with sugar and carbonation in rice wine. In this video, you'll see experiments with adding sugar to brewed rice wine. We'll try to control fermentation, sweetness, and carbonation. I learned a few lessons along the way. If you like this video, please click that like button and subscribe. Click the bell to be notified of a new video every week. And please share this video wherever it is appropriate. I really appreciate your help in spreading the word about rustic Asian rice wine. What is back sweetening? Well, back sweetening means you stop fermentation in your wine and you add some sugar. And why would you do this? Um, maybe you want to increase sweetness without additional fermentation or carbonation. And what is bottle conditioning? Well, you have a bottled fermented wine and you add sugar to that while the yeast is still alive. And why would you do this? Well, you get a secondary fermentation that generates carbonation. So I'm going to try both of these things with my home brewed mockley. Both back sweetening and bottle conditioning involve sugar. So to start off with, I make simple syrup by dissolving sugar in an equal volume of water. I'm doing half a cup of sugar and half a cup of hot water and I'm dissolving the sugar in the water. and I'm making sure it's completely dissolved, and then I put it in the fridge. So that's going to be what I use for back sweetening and bottle conditioning, is this simple syrup. So let's experiment. I have three bottles of Mockley here. This is Brew 121B. This is standard Eongju with wine yeast, and this has been diluted with water. The first bottle will be left alone, The second bottle, I'm going to add simple syrup to the second bottle. So this will be bottle conditioning. This is 30 milliliters, one ounce of simple syrup. This is about 18 grams of sugar added to the one liter of Mockley. That's a, that should be plenty. That's enough to turn something from dry to sweet. I just add the sugar. Uh, mix it up a little bit and I'll leave I'll leave this in the fridge now the third bottle I will back sweeten the first step for back sweetening is to stop fermentation so for that I'm going to try using a Campton tablet it's that's one tablet per gallon so for one liter that should be around a quarter tablet and uh, I'll just squish that in the bottle. It's powdery, also it will dissolve by itself. So I've added the Campton tablet. I'll just shake that up a bit. I won't add the sugar yet because I want to stop the fermentation first. So one day later, um, seems like a, there's not a lot of gas build up, so that uh, means the fermentation has stopped. And I'll add 30 milliliters of simple syrup to this one now. So this is back sweetening. Only difference between the back sweetening and the bottle conditioning is that I stopped the fermentation for the back sweetening. So, but otherwise, it's the same amount of sugar. Mix that up and it'll go back in the fridge. So to summarize, here are the three bottles. Uh, the first one is the original Mockley, second one is bottle conditioned, and the third one is back sweetened. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing with batch 121A. This is a standard Eongju without additional yeast. This has been diluted with water. Same as the last batch, the first bottle is left alone, the second bottle gets 30 milliliters of simple syrup.
And the third bottle gets the one quarter Camden tablet today. And one day later, I add 30 milliliters of simple syrup to the third bottle. So again, I have an original bottle, a bottle conditioned bottle, and a back sweetened bottle. And then three days later, I'm going to compare. So let's uh, let's compare A1, A2, and A3 first. So uh, looking at uh, A2, there's a lot of gas buildup. So this is uh, A2 is the bottle condition bottle. I'm expecting there to be more carbonation. Um, there's some carbonation in the back sweetened one. So um, that sort of means I didn't totally stop the fermentation, but it's not as much as in the bottle conditioned bottle. Yeah, but so by adding sugar, you're increasing the carbonation. You have to be a lot more careful opening this bottle. Okay, so um, after about five minutes, I can open the second bottle, the A2 bottle. And I'll compare the taste now. When I tasted the original bottle A, that's A1, just after bottling, it uh, was a pretty earthy with some sourness, like pomelo sourness, citrus, and some sweetness. Um, when I tasted it today, it was drier, um, it had uh, more carbonation and a more sour aftertaste. So this is the Yiyangju without additional yeast. So this is sort of what I am used to for that, for that recipe. That's the taste I expect for that recipe. But now comparing with A2, which is the bottle conditioned Makli. A2 has a sweeter aftertaste and, and more carbonation. And A3, which was back sweetened, actually the gas escaping the bottle, it smells bad. It sort of has an egg smell. And uh, while tasting this, yeah, that achy sulfur smell, that is not good. So that's, the Camden tablets work by producing sulfur dioxide, which stops the fermentation. But I think this went a little too far. This this smells like eggs. That's more like hydrogen sulfide, I think. So that's that's an unpleasant smell. That's not desirable. Uh, it's a bad. It was a bad idea to use the Camden tablet in this case. But A two is sweeter. This is about as sweet as I would want to make it. It's even a little bit too sweet. And A3, yeah, I taste I taste the sugar, but that sulfur smell just uh, just ruins it. So that's not, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna drink much of that. Now let's taste the other batch, 121B, which was made with wine yeast. And uh, it's a bit stronger it's drier and uh, has more of a wheat aftertaste, um, a little bit bitter. Um, but the beginning is floral and it does have some, some sweetness. Now tasting B2, the bottle conditioned one, it, it, is, it is sweeter and has more carbonation. Um, this is most like commercial Mockley. And uh, like I said before, this is pretty much my limit for sweetness. This is adding that one ounce of simple syrup. That made it very sweet to my taste. Now tasting B3, my attempt at back sweetening. Well, again, I have this egg smell. So that Camden tablet reacted with the, uh, with the Mockley and the uh, microorganisms and produced a bad smell. And... Uh, so, yeah, that's not really drinkable. So my attempt at back sweetening didn't work because the Camden tablets were not the right thing to use to stop, to stop the fermentation. Maybe something like pasteurization would be better. So I did learn some lessons here. Uh, lesson one, don't try to use Camden tablets to stop fermentation in Makali. Pasteurization might work better. Uh, I might try that some other time. And lesson two is that bottle conditioning does make it sweeter and more carbonated, but the sweetness doesn't last.
So I might as well just sweeten just before drinking. I can use the simple syrup to do that as well. I hope you found this video interesting. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.